A cold front sliding southward across the state of Ohio on Wednesday morning is going to usher in slightly cooler conditions, but those are compared to Tuesday's wonderful daytime highs in the 80s across much of Ohio. Your 7 a.m. surface map Wednesday morning looks like this. You see that frontal system sliding southward across the Buckeye State. It's going to move south of the Ohio River, and then it's going to stall out. Now, it's going to clear up for a day or so, give us some nice conditions. But by the time Thursday rolls around, it's going to be damp, folks. We could have one to two inches of rain in parts of Ohio. Low pressure is going to develop along this system as it becomes stationary in the southern Mississippi Valley, move northeastward, and as that happens, it will pull a lot of moisture along with it to the Ohio Valley, which is a good thing because we do need that precipitation. The water table needs to be built up for the winter. When you get that cold air, the ground freezes up, no chance of water soaking in to allow the table to build up. So we have to get that before the really cold conditions set in, and this is really a blessing in disguise. Your traveler's forecast for the state of Ohio for the day Wednesday. I'll move out of your road. You can take a look at this mess. It's not going to be a very pretty sight at all. And uh, there are your daytime highs, along with your chances of precipitation across the state of Ohio. Now, that doesn't look too awfully bad compared to what it could be this time of the year or what we're expecting in a month or two or three. With that in mind, let's take a look at your local five-day forecast. So there you have it. It's going to cool off substantially after that frontal system makes its way through here as a cold front. Uh, once the low pressure moves to our northeast, it drags it to the south of Ohio. But it's not going to be too far out of the normal. That's pretty much close to normal for this time of the year. So you have yourselves a great day.